Hello, hello everyone. We are about to watch the new DLC trailer for the very first time. I've not watched it, I haven't found the English version and I was kind of waiting for that, but it's not here. So we're just going to watch the Japanese and we just hope for the best. But I, I don't know that there's anything that we really need to, to understand, but we start out. That's the new slope, bro. I will admit I saw, I cheated a little bit. I did see pictures from Twitter, so I had already seen him, but he looks so good. And also like the world looks beautiful. But then again, I also thought the first one did. And we see legendaries, and it is for both passes, which I actually find a little, a little fun. But I guess you basically take a train to the new place. With the new wild area. There's so many nice moments. We could send out back. Probably rough, miss probably rough. Flow. Like and rock I'm excited about, okay? Like and rock's pretty cool. My show's okay. I, I, I'm excited for getting Tower Flame, honestly. Tower is going to be so good. I don't know what those two's role will be. Like, will they be kind of like your rivals doing the DLC? We get more imagery. <gasps> Kanto, Galarian Forms. Excited to see those. I'm curious about their signature moves, honestly, though. Because Terra Sides are so good. Oh, Kupfu. Okay, so the colored forms that we saw in the very first trailer are the Max forms. So I guess it's actually G Max, and not just a Dynamax. That's not that interesting. I wonder how good they'll be, like whether or not they'll actually be allowed to be in in VGC. Or if they're too good, they might be too good, honestly. I think they're too good. We get to see the current Sandra. That one I'm excited about. I, I think the Crown Tundra is so beautiful, honestly. Why are they regular forms? Do you get both forms or is it just to like show the regular ones so you know what you're going into? The people that aren't used to them. We get basically all the legendaries. Which could tie in to new to future VTC seasons? VTC seasons, I wouldn't mind letting Darius not being. Ooh! Oh, the Galarian Burst looks so good. Honestly, they look amazing. And the Janae Dynamax. G Gigantamax, sorry. Do I have to play with Hop again? Oh my god. Yes. I didn't miss that. <laughs> I didn't miss Hop. Oh, Slopo! Slopo Slo takes like his um, his little shell that's eating his arm forward. What, what was the picture? It looked pretty good, honestly. I can't find it again. I don't think I. Yeah, oh, I can't find it again. But it looks so nice since since his um, the shell's eating his arm, something just like takes it forward and shoots out of it. That looks pretty cool. And it looks like we're getting it on the seventeenth this month. That's actually pretty soon. I think like to begin with they were saying like um yeah I don't understand Japanese. They were saying like late Late June, so it's actually less like in, in 15 days. That's honestly quite exciting. It'll be so soon. I didn't expect that. I'm not mentally prepared for that. I guess it's just like late 2020. But honestly, I'm I'm excited to see what the DLC, like, how they build it up, because this has never really been a DLC. Like, how much is the story part of it going to feel like with the whole fighting dojo thing? Like, how, how many gameplay hours is there actually in it? And we did see a lot of the old Pokemon that weren't there already here in the beginning. But, like, I I can't help but wonder how many we'll see, because that was something that we didn't see. Uh, and I wonder if we're going to have, like, all of the Pokemon to pass the end. Like, that we... That all of them will be in the game? I don't know. That could also be a quite cool way to like get the old Pokemon like into the game. It's like having having them come in for the DLC. So at the end of it, you still basically have the national decks, but that we just didn't have it to begin with. Because I also feel like, honestly, 
in my opinion, and you're, you're allowed to disagree, funnily enough, it's a free world, you would think. But for me, like it, it's refreshing actually to have restricted formats, but it also gives it a new breath of air every time you get something new in. But I'm actually quite curious to see what they will, will do, how they'll build this. Because this can either be the future of Pokemon with the DLC, so you don't actually get as many new games released, which would also technically be cheaper for us, or it could be an absolute flop and everyone hates them and we never see it again. But, you know, I think the first option is also more likely. But I'm, I'm curious about it. But before we end this video, I also think we should just generally, because it's, it's in 15 days, this thing is releasing in 15 days, go over what we actually know about it, because they, they um... They had the official side with the Alabama, so we have the Galarian Slow Bro, which is a Poison Psychic type. Ability Quick Draw. I wonder... Does it say anything about that? This Galarian is a bit... Galarian Slow Bro to become a Poison type. The Shuffle is on It doesn't say anything about what Quick Draw is. I'm curious, because that... Depending on what the ability is, that could actually be the good. Or really bad. <laughs> like, you can make or break it. Then we see the Venusaur. So, last it covers the Pokemon body, doing battle, shields, right, right, right. Violence. G Max one doesn't just deal damage to an opponent when it hits, it can continue for four turns to any Pokemon that isn't grass type. So, that's kind of like, um, like Charizard's Wildfire. Okay, and probably the same for Blastoise. Yeah, that isn't water type. Okay, that's actually... Um, there'll, there'll be a lot of Venus on Blastoise, especially Venus, I think. <laughs> It'd be to see when these get allowed. But, I mean, that's that's quite nice. That means that Charizard is not on top of its crown anymore there. That it gets a little bit of competition in usage. It's two forms, single strike style and rapid strike style. Here's a different GMAX move. Let's follow the path of darkness and single, severe blow, a signature known as Wicked Blow. So it's a la, 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 la. this move always results in critical hit and ignore the target stat changes. The rapid strike style is for the path of water, can unleash free hit combo. I think just a move known as surging strikes. This move always results in critical hits. I'm just attack while ignoring the point. So it's single severe blow or hitting three time spaces, is what I'm seeing. Unsee fits this new ability introduced with expansions. Uh, the business is the Pokemon deal damage when it attacks with moves and make direct contact, even if it's defend. I wonder if it's like that's 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 too good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, this does not seem to me like a Pokemon that I'll actually be allowed in. We just see like right away until we get all the legendaries. Unless it's like with the Z moves was the last generation and the Dynamax moves now, where it's only a percentage. But if it's like full hit through them, that's pretty busted. We'll see. Dark Sub is actually used by G Max One Blow. G Max Rapid Flow. One Blow and can deal damage even if the target defends itself by using moves like. But they have the ability, but the moves also... Okay. Unseen Fist is a new ability with these expansion and the one that only single strike style Urshifu and rapid strike Urshifu possesses. The ability lets the Pokemon deal damage when it attacks with moves that make direct contact even if the targets defend itself by using moves like Protect. Dark type attacks used by single strike against Max Urshifu will change into Max... G Max One Blow. Water type attacks used by Rapid Strike. Star Gigantic Max Urshifu will change into G Max Rapid Flow. G Max One Blow and G Max Rapid Flow can deal damage even if a target defends itself by using moves like Max Guard and Protect. I don't really understand what the point is, other than the fact that you can do it without maxing, and it goes through Max Guard too. Which again, pretty busted. New Avenger. Cramomatic, the dojo on the island house houses a unique recycling. Oh, that's the little thing that looks like a Cramorant. Feed a four items, we're going to give a new item exchange. 
So there's Pokeballs, PP of some more. This could actually, might even produce rare items. This could actually prove to be very useful. Move to this. Yes. Trainers can have the Pokemon learn the machine for Amaridol. Assistance that can be found in the Isle of Armor through Max Raid Battles. Another me. So that's another thing to make Max Raid Battles more, more useful. But Burning Gels is a new fighter move that can be taught with these expansions. When the hits deals damage all Pokemon and burns all the opposing Pokemon that have the stats boosted during the turn. Hmm. Grass Side is a new grass type move that can be taught. Starting with the expansion move has high priority when using a grass terrain. And the interesting thing is that I did see on Twitter too was actually that the hidden ability style is already released. So you can get your grass terrain um Monkey, dude, I don't know why I'm brain farting. I'm, I'm absolutely forgetting what's called. I, I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god. Me this one, no one cares about. Some Pokemon trains are already traveling with me. Also, gain the ability to Gigantamax. Oh. Wait, so if you have a Pokemon that has a Gigantamax form, but it. Can't currently Gigantamax, you can feed it that, and then, then it'll become able to Gigantamax. Okay, that's that's interesting. This is for the counter, and we might as well card it because we are here. These are the Regis. Reggie Eleki. Is that the official name? <laughs> it's an electric type that transistor. Funda it learns Funda Cage fires furious bolts of electricity from its lower half. Trapping opponents directly below the charge of lightning does not only deal damage to opponent with lands, electrified cave will also cause damage every turn for four to five turns and prevents opponents from fleeing or being swapped out. We're going in for some interesting seasonal VGC with these. The, I, I would assume. No? Actually. So that's. I, I thought they would all have like their own types, but they don't. Ready Draco. A dragon or opponent. This is a dragon type. Nice. Dragon small. Well, that's only two of them. So we don't know about the third, I guess. Body is composed of uh, dragon energy with a signature move, dragon energy, the Pokemon assumes shape similar to dragon's head, and the fire's intense dragon energy from its mouth. The more HP the user has remaining, the higher the uh, the higher the moves power. Okay. I mean depending on how low it gets, it's kind of kinda of like water spout, I guess. Like a dragon water spout? Yeah, that's actually what it is. It's, it's a dragon water spout. Which could be pretty cool, but... <laughs> it's probably a slow Pokemon, maybe? It dep I, I don't remember the Reggie speed. But if it's very slow, like in Shrek, well, that could be interesting, because it's kind of like a Torkoal, but a Reggie. Tukuno Scepter's Moltres. Galarian Kunu. Cruel Pokemon. Oh my god, it's a Psychic Flying. Competitive. I could actually see this be useful. I actually freezing glare. It's a second time it's a special move which is inspiring psychic powers from both eyes. This move psychic move that can freeze your opponent. I wonder oh, like what's the chance of getting frozen? But like that, I don't think it makes Articuno necessarily the best Pokemon ever. But I think actually just just getting competitive. I think it's actually quite useful, especially in a game with Dynamax being the prevalent thing because a lot of the moves they they lower your stats. So, you get just a lower, you get competitive boost, that could actually be useful. Fighting, flying, defiant. Again, I'm, I can see Berserk down here. Okay, these are actually, I think the birds will be quite fun, honestly, when they come around. Here's how to move. Thunderous Kick is a fighting physical move that overwhelms the attack with lightning. Like, moves before, the it lowers the target special defense. No, okay, no special defense, I was about to say, if the, it lowers defense, that's so dumb. But okay, Berserk. Fiery Wrath. Attack. May make the first. I'm curious about what the chance of the secondaries is. If it's like 30 or 20 or if it's 10. Because if it's only 10 or 20, it's kind of eh. But if you begin to get a high chance to freeze. I, 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 I'm making an Articuna team. I don't care. Aggressive Search. Library, we already know that. But these you can get already now. Actually, the hidden abilities by transferring a Pokemon into Pokemon Hope. Which is going to be very nice. Very nice. 
Do we know? Did it say anything more? I didn't really see it say anything more. So looking through the Sarah page, I don't really see that there's too many things that I missed. So therefore, I think we can kind of conclude that, that that's that's actually what we know. Like the new trailer basically gave us all the old information too, and just like made it a little more approachable. Stay tuned for more Pokemon content coming up because it'll definitely be more, especially with the, this DLC coming out. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, keep it cool. Bye.